What's the whole point of algebra? What are you trying to do? Find, the, Find the variable. Isolate x, right? Yeah. No. Do you, can you all read the orange? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Shh. Isolate the variable. In most cases, it's x. Okay. Now, we use the order of operations, the bed mass rules, everybody's favorite. When you're trying to evaluate something, you want to know its value. Evaluation? Evaluating, that's what I want to say. All right. <clears throat> and remember, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction go together. Now, when you're doing when you're solving for x or the variable or whatever, you flip the order. And this is sort of, I don't want to say this is hard and fast, it's more of a guideline. Because there's all these sort of, I won't say tricks, but sort of exceptions that you get from the more you do it, the better you get at using these little tricks. Why are you looking at So that? we reverse it when we're solving for x. And yes, it's sometimes abbreviated Sam, Deb, and as uh, Cade pointed out, it should have an R on the subtract. Or the subtract. Okay. All right. So, in general, not always, but in general, you do addition and subtraction first in algebra and then you do division. Okay. The brackets and exponent stuff, depending on how you want to solve something, I'll show you, you can do it two different ways. Okay. So, we look at this first question 2x plus 5 is equal to 17. Order of. Uh, Sam Deb, order of algebra, I don't know what we're, we're going to call it, says we do addition subtraction first. So, is there anything in there being added or yeah. subtracted? The five, right? Yeah. Remember, you do the opposite or the inverse operation. What's the opposite of addition? Subtraction. subtraction. So, I subtract five from both sides. Nothing happens to the 2x, it just stays there. The subtraction of five makes that five go away. And on the other side, 17 minus five is? 12. Uh, okay, now you got this. Then Sam Deb says you do multiplication and division. So is anything being multiplied or divided in what we have now? It's two times X. What's the opposite of multiplication? It is division. So I divide both sides by two. 12 divided by two is? Okay, next one. And what should you always do? What did you say? I said, what should you always do once you've answered the question? You should just do a chick, a chick, a quick check. So if we go, I'm doing this one. If you're going to check it. Two, you put the six in for X. And then because we're evaluating it, we follow bed mass. Bed mass says you do brackets and exponents. There's no brackets or exponents, but there is multiplication. So two times six is 12 plus the five. 12 and five is 17. So you get 17 is equal to 17. So you know you did it right. Okay. Ooh. All right. Next question is solving for x. So we use the stuff on the right, the Sam Deb. What do I do first? Is there addition or multiplication that I need to deal with? I need to get rid of that negative six or subtracted six. So I have to add six to both sides. So I get x over 3. 4 plus 6 is? 10. And now I have x over 3 is equal to 10. x over 3 is what operation? Division. What's the opposite of division? Multiplication. So you multiply both sides by? 
three. Those threes go away, and I'm left with x is equal to 30. I'm not going to do the check. I'm going to let you do that at another time. All right. 20 is equal to 8 plus 4x. So is there anything being added or subtracted? Okay. You read it. 4x is being added, but usually you wanted to leave the x alone if it's positive. So I want to get rid of the 8. Is that a positive or negative 8? Positive. Positive. So how do I get rid of positive 8? Subtract it. Negative 8, negative 8. What's 20 minus 8? How do I get rid of the 4? Divide everything by 4. 12 over 4 is 3. Okay. All right. So now we enter our brackets. Okay. This one, you have two ways to do this question. Okay. So we're going to do it in two different ways. Method one. The first method is to... I'm just going to show you. First method is to divide off the two. Okay. So. Okay. So the first method, I want to get rid of this two in front here. All right. So divide everything by two. So it looks like this. Move it down, McEwen. McEwen. The divider. Oh. All right. Shh. So you divide everything by two. Okay. Now, when you're dividing by two here, these twos, guys, these twos disappear. Can you subtract? Okay. All right. Two divided by two. They cancel like that. And I'm left with x plus 9. On the other side, what's 24 divided by 2? Megas. What's 24 divided by 2? 12. Now, I have this uh, expression. x plus 9 is equal to 12. How do I get rid of the 9? Subtract 9. Cade. What's 12 minus 9? 3. X is equal to 3. Okay. Here's the other way to do it, which most of you probably will prefer. The other way is to multiply the 2 into the brackets. Okay. All right, the other way is to dump the two in the brackets. Get rid of the brackets, okay? So we do what we learned in the last chapter. What's two times x? What's two times nine? Okay, now what do we do? Now we sort of follow Sam Deb. Addition, subtraction. Is there an addition and subtraction in there that we need to get rid of? Is there anything being added? Yes, 18. 18. So how do I get rid of it? positive 18? Minus 18. What's 24 minus 18? 
H divided by two. And then final step is divide by two. And you get X is equal to three. Which way do you like more? It depends on the question. Well, for the I think if I was you, I would probably just get rid of the brackets first every time. And then that's a simple method that you can always just follow. So let's do that on this one here. 15 is equal to 3 times x minus 6. Get rid of the brackets. Turn it into a regular one. Three x. What's three times six? So you get three x minus eighteen. Then, then what do you do? Uh, mm -hmm. Add eighteen, because now once you get rid of the brackets, then you're following this Sam Deb. Okay. So we add eighteen, and we add eighteen. What's 15 and 18? 33? Uh, What's my final step? 33 minus 3. Uh, minus 3. Divided. Because it's 3 times x. So 11 is equal to x. Let's go. All right. Um, let's do this one here right below it before we do those last two. I don't know what All right. Five is equal to nine minus two X. What do you want to do first here? Subtract the three. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm doing this one, sorry. All right, here, we'll just zoom in on it. There we go. Okay, what do we want to do first? I would subtract nine. All right, that's going to make it way more complicated. You can, but it's going to make it more complicated. So take away nine from both sides. Five minus nine is negative four. And we're left with negative two X on the other side. Okay. Does everybody understand why you're subtracting nine? Yes. The nine is not negative. The nine is positive. Okay. So that's why it's a subtraction of nine. Okay. What's my step now? Divided by negative two. Don't forget the negatives because what's negative four divided by negative two? Two. All right, now these ugly fraction ones. Okay, x plus three over five is equal to four. What, you have two choices. One is way easier than the other one. The easy one, okay, is to get rid of this five here. All right, so what does this mean? x plus three, over five, what operation is that? Division. That's division, so how do I get rid of the five? You multiply by five. So if I multiply by five and I multiply by five, what's the whole point of this? To get rid of the fives, right? So these fives disappear. Because it's like that x plus, x plus three is in brackets. So now I'm left with, X plus three, what's four times five? What is? And then you do the opposite of addition. So it's take away three. X is equal to 17. This method of getting rid of that bottom in the first step applies to every sort of question that looks like that. So if you look at the next question, it looks way more complex because our denominator is x minus 2. But what you want to do is get rid of that in your first step. 
So what did I do up here? I multiplied by five. Hello? Hey, good. Okay, so to get rid of this denominator, because we're dividing, we multiply by whatever it is. To get rid of this de denominator, because we're dividing, I multiply by whatever it is. So multiply both sides by x minus 2. That goes away. And then on the right side, you have... four bracket x minus two. Now, what do I do with that four? Not negative eight x. It gets multiplied into the brackets, right? That's last chapter. So I get four x minus eight. So you're close. So I multiply both sides by x minus two to make that go away. And so then I get 4 times x minus 2, which you multiply the 4 into everything that's in there. All right, now what? Minus 8. Yeah, All right. Uh, what do I do now? Plus eight. Which is thirty-six. And then final step. Which is Nine is equal to x. All right. All right, now it's two time. Okay, so follow Sam Deb. Do addition, subtraction, unless there's brackets. If there's brackets, my recommendation is to multiply that number into the brackets to get rid of them, and then you can follow Sam Deb. And if there is something in like a fraction, like a denominator thing like this. Multiply both sides by whatever that is. If it's a constant, it goes up there. Even if it's x minus 2 or x plus 1, do the same thing. And then you get rid of the fractions. Because nobody likes fractions, right? Unless you like fractions. Mm -hmm. I love fractions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um.